Katina. So I'm here today with Bean and I'm going to show you how to trim your dog or cat's nails at home. Um, and if you need the extra protection of the armor hand gloves, then I am going to show you how you can accomplish that using the second style, which has the three um, first fingertips exposed. So what you want to do is get in a position where you're really comfortable. Um, for me, it's just easier to do it on the floor and you want to offer treats. You can give a lot of belly rubs before you start trimming and um, get in a position that works best for you and your dog. So for Bean, like I like to hold him up like this and um, with his nails, most of his nails are clear. So it's easy where the pink part is, that's the blood, blood and nerve supply. So that's called the quick. You always want to trim before that or else it will be painful and it will cause some bleeding. On his black nails, it's harder to visualize the quick. So a good rule of thumb is to line the black nail up with his paw pad and if the quick is overgrown, you may have to do a couple trimmings, like say every week or so, and you will eventually push that quick back. And then ideally what you want to do is get it lined up with the pop pad. That's probably the easiest way to um, know where to trim the black nails. So you want to hold the paw firmly, but um, and put a little bit of pressure on each digit and then Pick up your clippers and so for this nail you can easily see that it's a white nail and where there's the pink that's the blood supply and the quick so I'm going to just trim right above that nail and then you keep on repeating this on all of the white nails like that if you cut the nail too short um, you do want to try to avoid that because it will be painful and it will cause some bleeding but if you do cut the nail too short, you can use cornstarch, even some ice. You want to apply pressure on there and the bleeding should stop. If it doesn't stop within about 30 minutes, you definitely want to see your vet for that. So um, we'll just quickly do all of his digits and make sure that you're mindful of some dogs do have an extra digit or a dew claw. And so you want to make sure that you would trim that as well. So I'm going to show you on one of his black nails here. So this nail, it's definitely darker and it is harder. I think I can see where the blood supply probably begins in that area, but I'm basically going, going to cut above that area. And so there's no bleeding. So we're really good on that one. Um, a good rule of thumb for puppies especially is to play with their feet a lot. Um, this will make it a lot easier for you for when you do have to do nail trims and things with their paws and they'll get really used to it. Definitely offer them a lot of praise while you're doing it and you can give them like a special reward after that. So um, basically just take your time, give them praise, treats. Like I said, the clear nails are a little bit easier. You always wanna avoid the quick area, which is colored pink. If you can't see the quick on a darker nail, you always wanna line up the digit with the paw pad and that's generally a good rule of thumb um, for where you want to aim to be cutting. Thank you very much.